Hello, we're going to be building a threaded bolt and nut today. So let's go up first of all, make sure we've clicked on our little uh, drop down here and we have a new design up and ready to go. Um, first thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the create sketch icon and we're just going to click on the X, Y axis, which is this one down here. So just click once and that will put us in our sketch palette. You can see there's the drop down right there. Um, so we're going to click on create, uh, scroll down to where it says polygon and we're going to click on the polygon tool right here. Uh, and we're just going to hover over the center until it turns that sort of blue square and I click once and drag out. Now here, we're just going to make sure it snaps to the Y axis line. Uh, and then we're going to change our uh, dimension to 15 millimeters. So I'll just hit enter there. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we're a bit closer on that. And maybe just rotate a little bit sideways by right clicking on my mouse. Now I'm going to hit E on my keyboard. So I'm going to tap E once and that will activate our extrude tool right here. And now you can pull up uh, to extrude your sketch and we are going to put this at 20 millimeters for now. So just hit enter and there we have the start of our design. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to, um, we want to add a bit of a chamfer to these corners here. So uh, you can um, do this in a way that you probably would expect. You can't just click on the line here, hold down shift, click on the line here, hold that, uh, okay, I'm still holding shift and click on the line here. Hit S on my keyboard, which is the search or shortcut and type in C H for chamfer. You can see there it is right there and push in. That's going to um, alter these uh, corners as well. We just want this corner right here. So we're going to use a bit of a different technique. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to basically drop a sketch right down the middle here uh, and then create a triangle in the corner here and revolve it. So the first step we're going to want to do to do that is uh, we're going to make sure our origin is on by clicking the eyeball icon and we're going to click the little drop down and you can see I'm just going to rotate this. We want to be grabbing, we want to be placing a sketch across the XZ uh, origin right there. So let's go find XZ and we're just going on our drop down under origin. We're going to right click that and we're going to click on create sketch there and that will drop a sketch across that. If you, you can see it's right through the center and then we're going to build in our sketch on this corner. So let's click on front. Now, um, what we want to do here, I'll click front again, so we're just in the right place. Uh, we're going to click on line and we are going to go to the top corner up here. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to click once and I'm going to bring a line down and I'm going to make that line, uh, just make, click it on there and make that two mils. So I'm going to hit enter once. I'm going to make another line now by just clicking on the line tool or clicking L on my keyboard and I'm going to snap over that corner and I'm going to drag out this way and I'm just going to type in two millimeters again and I'm going to hit L on my keyboard for line again and I'm going to connect this by hovering over the point there, dragging over and snapping to that point and now we have completed our <coughs> triangle. Okay, now our triangle um, actually is a bit hard to see so i'm just gonna click finish sketch um and what we're going to do just to make this a bit easier to see is we are going to i'm just going to collapse that i'm going to click down and open up bodies and we're going to get click on the eyeball icon to remove the body so we get a clearer view of what we're looking at now there's a little small purple line coming up here we're actually going to click on that and click a backspace to delete that now we want to highlight our uh, new triangle. So all we're going to do is we're going to hover over it and click once so it highlights it. And then we're going to turn the body back on. Okay. So next up, um, we want to revolve this around the edges. So to do that, we're going to click on the down arrow on create. And there is our revolve icon right there. Actually, I think yeah, revolves right on the top. You can click on this one as well. So first thing it says is what is the profile you want to revolve? And we've already highlighted our profile. The next is the axis we want to use. And we want to use the Z axis. So we're going to click on the Z axis. You can see it rotates right around. 
uh, and it cuts the top off these corners. So if I click OK, you can see um, it is doing a pretty good job there. Uh, now what we want to do is we actually want to mirror this on the bottom. We want to do exactly the same thing on the bottom. So to do that, uh, we're going to click on Construct. We're going to scroll down to where it says Mid Plane there. I'm going to click that once. Once we're there, we're going to click on the top and it's asking for a second mid plane. So we're going to click on the bottom and it creates a mid plane right in the middle. And we're going to be using that in just a minute. So I'm going to click OK. Now what I want to do is I want to mirror what's up here onto the bottom. So we're going to use the mirror function. So let's click on create, go all the way down to where it says mirror and it says pattern type and we're going to choose the feature pattern type. And the feature is in your timeline right here. And the feature we're going to use is the revolve feature that we just did. So I click on that. So we've got our objects selected with our features. The mirror plane, we're going to select that. And that is, of course, the center um, plane right there. And you can see these little green kind of previews appear. And I'm going to click OK. And it does it perfectly on the bottom. OK, uh, now we kind of want to remove this because this is a bit uh, in our way. So I'm just going to click it once, click V and V for vector, and I'm gonna click off. That will remove our mid plane. I'm actually going to remove the origin as well uh, over here, just to make it a bit easier to see. Okay, looking really good. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to create our hole with our thread in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is under create, uh, should be there, it is right there. So hole, uh, I think as well, you can see there's the hole icon on the top. So I'm gonna click that once. It asks me where I want to create it. So I'm going to create it on this plane on the top. So I'm going to click once. And it is uh, a little bit too big right now. I'm going to snap it to the center. Um, and I am going to, uh, it seems pretty large. So I'm just going to go up to the top up here. And it looks like the size currently is 40 millimeters, which is way too big. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to drop this down to 20 millimeters, which is a much more reasonable size. Okay, so we've got our hole ready to go. Let's make sure a couple things are going on here. We're going to countersink our hole, so make sure that is highlighted. Uh, we're going to tap it, um, and then we're gonna make sure it's full, and then flat right there. Okay, so another thing you're gonna notice on the hole is currently the entrance right here is two millimeters. That is way too small, so let's change that. You can do this two ways. You can either drag it out using these little arrows and we'll pull it past. Uh, let's go make it 22 right there. And you can see this is starting to take shape a little bit more. Uh, 90 degrees is good. Uh, 17, let's go to the bottom. And one thing you wanna make sure, it's a bit hard to see here, but right down here, it's really important that you click this check mark box uh, to make sure that it is modeled. Now we'll actually add this to your model on the side. If you don't have this, uh, it will not add it to your design. Okay, so this looks really good. We're gonna hit enter and we have pretty much our nut ready to go. One final thing we can do is add the bolt to it. So let's just click on top here. Uh, we're gonna click on the create sketch icon right there and we are going to choose uh, our X, Y um, plane on the bottom. You can see the one way on the bottom down there. So click that once, that'll put us uh, so when we sketch we'll be sketching right here so let's grab our uh, center diameter circle let's click on here and drag over with our dots uh, we're going to click over here once and drag out uh, and let's make it 30 so let's go 30 hit enter um, and what we're going to do now is let's just click on here on the, our circle and we're going to hit e again and we are going to extrude it up so let's go oh, around 12 millimeters. Uh, let's go a bit bigger. Let's go 15 millimeters for that. And then we're gonna add another circle to the top. So let's click on create a sketch. We're gonna use the sketch right on the top here. And we're gonna add another circle. So make sure you snap to the center with this little circle icon, drag out, and let's make this 20 millimeters in diameter. And we are going to extrude again. So click on that circle, hit E, and let's drag this up and let's make it about, let's go 28 millimeters, 28 millimeters. 
And we have one final, make sure this is on join right here as well. And we have one final thing to do to complete this. Uh, we're going to create a thread. So there's our thread right there. And click on that. And all we're going to do is highlight the outside of the cylinder. Click once, make sure our size is 20 millimeters. And we're going to make sure we model it. So it is perfect, ready to go. Okay, this looks pretty much done. And I just click OK. And you just have to remember um, to save your file right there. Um, one other thing we could do is we can click on here and hold down Shift and click on here. Hit S on your keyboard. Hit S for shortcuts. Hit CH uh, for chamfer. And right there you can see it. And we can just push in and chamfer the edges a tiny bit right there. Okay, this is all done, ready to go, and hopefully you found this video helpful.